What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. And today, well, you hate to see it, but another elite, as you could say, and another celebrity has jumped on the bandwagon of wanting to end your existence and thinking that he's being cute or funny. Of course, we're talking about Matthew Good, Canadian artist and singer, who came out to say some really hurtful things the other day. And let's uh, let's just jump into it because I, I honestly have nothing funny to say about it. It's uh, quite disturbing. Uh, Matthew Good tells BC crowd freedom protesters should be sent to the Congo and um, pew-pewed by teens with uh, assault rifles. Uh, we'll play the video after, but Canadian musician Matthew Good told BC concert goers he would like to, quote, take freedom protesters to the Congo and have teenagers blast them with... AK 47s. Some in the crowd cheered as Good told them unpoked people should be flown to the Congo, have them lined up as they exit the plane, and be executed by 14 year olds with guns. Saturday at the Port Theater in Nanaimo. You can talk about your rights, and that's cool, Good said in the video, which was posted on social media with accompanying booze by some in the crowd. Good preceded his comments by talking about protesters who blocked access to hospitals during the, uh, the lockdowns. Uh, social media users were quick to react to the video, telling Good they are no longer his fan. These far left take hate to the next level. It's eye-opening, Tammy Humeni said. Uh, this is what the government feeds these people. This guy is the best citizen Canada has. They want you to be divided like this, and what people are not realizing is that you're taking the world back to the times in history where we were absolutely saddened and disgusted by Sharon, Bo Shannon Boyd said, sorry, uh, this is absolutely horrendous. Where is his cancellation? Why is no one calling his views unacceptable? Wow. Uh, Katrina may said more than a year and a half ago, good was dropped by his label Warner music Canada after being accused of being a quote, serial abuser by his ex-girlfriend, music producer, Haley Mather. Mather posted accusations that included cheating, sexual coercion, and mental abuse on her Instagram, which led to the label's demise. Warner Music Canada said in a tweet about the decision that, quote, it had seen the recent allegations against Matthew Good and take them very seriously. We parted ways with Matthew Good. Good has six solo acoustic concert date planned in the near future in November. I hope they're empty. Uh, so an irrelevant Canadian musician that hasn't had a hit in over 10 years decided to create a scandal just before he releases his new music. Sounds about right, another social media user said. He's pandering to the woke left in hopes they will come to watch him perform. Uh, the problem with this, and I'm sure all of you can agree, I, I really don't understand how anybody could agree with this. Uh, I don't care what side of the fence you sit on. Uh, I've already said whether you're left-leaning, right-leaning, neutral, whether you are anti-government altogether. Um, this was a decision, a medical decision, that was up to people to decide what was best for them. Certain parties that had interest in terms of revenue, in terms of politics, and votes, had something to say about this because it worked for their rhetoric. And people bought into it. Again, on both sides of the aisle, people bought into it because it was convenient, because everybody was mad. And the problem now is that we are turning into a society that's going back to the dark ages. Everybody talks about a world of diversity and acceptance and all these things, unless it doesn't fit their narrative. And that here is the biggest problem. I can tell you right now, um, I, I haven't listened to Matthew Good in a long time, but I probably never will again. Uh, I have no place in this world for anyone who wants to make comments like that. Even if people were commenting about people who had the poke saying that, you know, they should go to K. You don't say those things. You don't wish death or hate on people. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I, for one, cannot stand behind it. Uh, and, and I think he's a disgusting garbage human. Uh, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, do you agree with his take? If you do, please unsubscribe. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't agree with this take, please let me know in the comments down below what you think. If this is your first time at the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, and turn on your notification bells. I will be in Ottawa next week again for the uh, Emergency Act Commission, and I will be bringing you guys updates as the time goes on with that. Uh, usually in the evenings, we might even have a live stream or some special guests as time goes on while I'm in Ottawa. 
Uh, and some interesting things going down there aside from the Emergency Act inquiry that I'll be doing in regards to uh, book stuff. Uh, I'll keep you guys all posted on that as well. Um, until then, uh, we'll be doing a Saturday morning stream. Uh, Saturday morning sit down and chat with uh, Twitter's own The Pleb, uh, truck driver Pleb. He'll be joining us live at 10.30 a.m., uh, I guess, uh, Eastern time, you could call it at 10 30 AM Ontario time, uh, Eastern, uh, which is eight 30 mountain time, because that was his only availability. <laughs> I'll be getting up early. It should be fun, but I will save the stream onto YouTube. So you guys can watch it afterwards. If you're not around when that stream's going on. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video in the meantime, and I'll talk to you on the next one.